Kingdom, awito na to ang dungog o himaya. Panahon karon sa pagpamalandong sa giingon ni Hesus sa iya mga tinunan. Makahimo ba kamo sa paginom sa kupa nga akong pagaimnan? Panahon karon sa pagampo o pagtukaw, aron makaatubang kita sa tanan sa pagsulay kanato. Maduol kita ng sa Diyos sa matinudanon gayod diha sa iyang pagkabalaan. Palihok manlingkod manindog kita alang sa pag-awit sa pagdayo. Salamat kami kami mo ginoo ni ining lain nga adlaw sa among mga kinabuhi. Ni ining pribilehiyo sa pagsimba kani mo ginoo ni ining sayo sa kabuntagon. Salamat sa maayo nga pagkatulog ug sa pagpukaw ni mo kanamo ni ining adlaw. Salamat ginoo sa mga kinabuhi nga ani akaron kauban nagasimba diha kanimo. O sa mga kauban pa nga padulong padiri sa among pagsimba. 
Ginoo dawata ang among pagsimba kanimo, ang among mga pag-awit, ang mensahe nga ipadala nimo ngadto sa among mensahero namo ni ining adlaw. Samtang kami magasilibrar ni ining Church Workers Sunday, among hinumduman Ginoo ang ministeryo nga imong gihatag og gisangon nimo kanila aron kami maka fellowship diha man nurture mahatagan sa imong gugma mahatagan sa imong uh, mga pagtambag mga tanan ginuo diha sa imong ministeryo salamat sa ilang kinabuhi nga bisan pa niagi kami sa malisod nga kahimtang ginuo apan ikaw nagasustain ka namo hangtod ni ini nga adlaw kami nagaampo kanila Ginoo nga ikaw maghatag og panalangin dugang dugang kaisog dugang sa ilang mga kinabuhi dugang gugma dugang pasensya alang sa katawhan dinhi sa UCCP Botuan City Evangelical Church Incorporated Nini nga kabuntagon ginoo among ihalad kanimo ang among pagsimba. Hinaot ikaw malipay, ikaw ma-please sa among pagabuhaton nga pagsimba. Diha kanimo tungod kay ikaw lamang ang angayan nga simbahon, hatagan sa glory o sa honor ni ini nga pagsimba namo karon nga kabuntagon. Thank you for all the blessings we received today and even for the next week na moabot sa among mga kinabuhi. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Palihog man likod. Mga igsoon ko, diha ni Kristo, ang pamatuod sa katingalahang gugma sa Diyos, maukini. Samtang kita nga makasasala pa si Kristo na matay alang kanato. Tungod kay kita adunay pagtuo kang Kristo, kita mangahas sa pagduol sa Dios uban ang pagsalig. Atong isugid ang atong mga sala at ubangan sa Dios. Magsugid kita sa hilom. The word of the Lord in Isaiah 1.18 says, Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord.
May buntag na tong tanan. I declare this the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Palihog, i-greet na to atong tapad na sa una na sa likod. Tapad na to wala og tuog maayong buntag kanimo. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning to our Father God. Malipayan kita karon kay atong gi recognize ug tagaan natog da kompa ka salamat pasidog ang Dios sa atong mga church workers. This is their special Sunday, special day sa atong mga church workers. They are our two pastors, then uh, the, the staff headed by our lay administrator Winda Garcia uh, atong staff si Evelyn ang atong bookkeeper si Josie atong cashier si Edison atong katabang para magdrive and then our two Sunday school te teachers for the children Eden Taliedo and Marife Baladad no but actually we are all church workers God's church workers kita sa magalagat kita sa ato ang Dios. So alas sa atong mga announcements, ang atong communicant class uh, magasugo sa unang Sabado sa December. That will be December 1. December 1 no? Communicant class ang ang interesado kayo og ang giawhag nga moapil niini ida dosi pataas. Anhi pagahimoon sa office atong pastors at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. pastor daw? No? Oh, communicant class. Magasugod first Saturday of December, December 1 at 2 p.m. Ang atong naka-schedule onta nga child evangelism seminar and training ato o nang gi-cancel. Kaya we need at least 10 participants for this training para po ang, <laughs> ang efforts atong trainers o ang mga materials ma mapuslan yun maayo. So ato o nang gi-cancel. Or nag-istorya nag sa trainers na kung pwede po na ay other evangelical church na mag-conduct ni ni dito na lang tamo apil. But on December 2, there will be a Christmas um, Christmas seminar also teaching the teachers for the kids during that particular season, sa Christmas season, nga ma-evangelizean po sila. No, giawag po ang mga Sunday school teachers labi na sa kids or other members of the Board of Christian Educators sa pag in December 2. I will just uh, contact ev every participants. IPM lang nako sila og unsa gyud oras to finalize this. December 2 pa man. On December 2 ba na Sabado? Oh, oh Sabado gay ang December 2, de de December 1. So kana lang ang atong mga pahibalo og diri sa atong church bulletin tan-aw nato ang atong weekly stewardship report. Og salamat sa Ginoo sa Pagtudlo niya nato sa atong generosity to give no through our tithes and other offerings. Tadiri atong makita atong weekly expenditures na po diri. O sa atong mga birthday celebrators this week, naan po nato makita diri sa atong church bulletin. Ili na lang na po sa usahon o ang atong wedding anniversary na po diri. O other nga mga pahibalo mao ra ba pastor wala na ila ang pahibalo ah isa pa last monday naka-appeal uban ni Reverend Mero ang ubang members nato sa church at tong i-conduct nga conference sa Free Methodist Church last monday ata ah, dito that, that was a uh, victorious Victorious Living Conference for the pastors and for the church leaders. Og nindot ka ayo po ang mga experience dito. Salamat sa Ginoo at to sa mga panahon. Ah, uh, during sa 
humani ini ang atong usa ka igsuon nga gi tagaan si Ginoog nga ayong talent to sing si Brother Manoling Saldivar murender si ang song tribute to the church workers o gihangyo na pa ang mga church workers sa pagtindog lang diri sa front o kana po nga time kung na ay inyong ihatag nga love gift para sa itong church workers kana po nga time na ito ihatag o na kong pagpasalamat sa ilahang madasigon o malahot tayon o matinod anon nga pag-alagad sa atong Diyos ni iyang iglesia sa UCCP Evangelical Church. Salamat kaayo ni Laginoo sa ilang mga kinabuhi sa atong mga church workers na padayon nga nagpagamit sa atong Diyos aron malambo ang iyang kausa sa iyang iglesia. Maura, may ang buntag ka natong tanahan. Ang iyong na ako ang mga church workers palihog. Oh, 
when I am on your shoulders, you raise me up to more than I can be. Uh, magpabilin ang atong mga pastors or church workers to stay in front and requesting the congregation to stand up and as we pray let us extend our right hands and may change to left kung how yun to bless our pastors and church workers let us pray Our loving Father, Creator and Lord of our lives, we thank you for blessing us with these pastors and church workers to shepherd your people in this church. Thank you, Lord, for their lives. Thank you for their commitment. And even thank you for their families that lend them to us so that they can uh, serve God through this church. Thank you, Lord, that whatever they are experiencing while shepherding your people, they remain strong, they remain steadfast, and they remain committed to serve you, whatever that is. Lord, thank you that they are willing enough even to be criticized, ridiculed, even insulted, and other harsh treatments that they are suffering since this church is standing up the faith of our forefathers. Tell me, God, that you strengthen them and you have guided them all the way up to this very moment. That even in the times of trials, they are boldly saying that they are willing to be used by you in this moment. Father, we pray that you are going to give them good health, sound mind, and even answer every need that they have, including their own family. Thank you that we can see God, that we can see you through their lives. Even in their old age, Father, we can see how inspired they are to serve you. And this is our inspiration to go on Living for you, living for your name, living for the faith that our forefathers have filled in our lives. Lord, we pray for our dearly loved pastors and church workers in this church to persevere in the call that they are that they have received. May you carry out to completion the wonderful work that you have called them to. When in times that they grow tired and weary, give them the strength to continue on their journey with joy and gratitude. We keep asking that the God of Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know 
Jesus better. We pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you. The riches of his glorious inheritance in this holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe. In Jesus' name, Amen. Pahabol, ha? I'm sorry. <laughs> ato po i-acknowledge sa atong pianist. Mabanggo na ako na mention niya, pianist. Si Koy Koy Carl Brando Mero and Lizelle Plaza Mero, ang atong live streaming operator. Kada Sunday, makita po ninyo din. Yeah. Salamat kanila ato. God, be all the glory for their lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For their lives. Yes. Uh, ang atong pagkarong mensahero, usa sa atong mga haligi ni Inga Iglesia, si Mrs. Asuncion Gayon. Ang atong mensahero karong. Thank you. Let us all stand for the reading of God's Holy Word, which is taken from Exodus 3, 1 to 12. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the far side of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that through the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight, why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him, from the from within the bush Moses Moses and Moses said here I am do not come any closer God said take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is holy ground then he said I am the God of your father the God of Abraham God of Isaac and God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers. And I am concerned about their suffering. So I have come down to rescue them from the hands of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hevites, and Jebusites. And now, 
the Christ of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. So now, go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who I am, that I should go to the Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt. And God said, I will be with you, and this will be the sign to you that I have sent you when you have brought the people out of Egypt you will worship God on the mountain here ends the reading of his words please be seated The Bible says it's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord.
at all times I will constantly speak his praises come let us tell of the Lord's greatness let us exalt his name forever to our pastors coach staff support staff and Sunday school teachers thank you for your great devotion faithfulness love and commitment in serving the Lord Jesus Christ through UCCP Butuan City Evangelical Church Salamat choir anang ang atong lively but meaningful pasalamat sa atong Ginoo. May buntag katawhan sa Dios. When Nelly approached me last Sunday to be God's messenger this morning, I immediately said, "Yes, because you do not refuse when God asks you to do something." But later, alone in my room, I asked Lord, why me? I scanned in my mind our regular church goers and reasoned because I am among the elderly in the congregation. Looking in the middle pews, I saw Nong Roy and Nang Hilda Sanchez and said, but they are more senior than I am. At the back, I also spotted Nang Miding Arlan, again more senior than me. And then I concluded, you are chosen because he smiles when you proclaim his message and give him the glory. So here I am. Magampotan. Ginoong Diyos among magbubuhat, magsasangkap, ug manuluwas. Pasailua kami sa among mga kaluyahon. 
Tultuli ako nga makabarog nga maligon pagsangyaw sa imong mensahe o ang imong mga anak nga ni akaron madasig sa pagsunod kanimo. Amen. At the outset, I would like to acknowledge the different resources for this morning's message. Last Monday, 11 of us from UCCP Evangelical Church attended a seminar on victorious leadership, and much of the materials for this message is taken from that seminar. I am grateful to Reverend Noel Villalba and his wife, Mian, for their frank and sincere teachings, Reverend Carmelito Miro, our active evangelist, the UCCP Constitution and Bylaws, Rick Warren's book, A Purpose-Driven Life, Bible study sessions, church services, trainings which made me realize that even at my age, I still have a lot to learn. God created the universe. Everything in the universe belongs to Him. This church is not your church. It is not our church. Neither is it theirs. It is God's church. God is holy, and so we come to his church so that we also may be made holy. God created everything that is good. Therefore, as his creation, we also must be good. Our scriptural text shows the relationship between Moses and God. Moses, a shepherd, led his flock where God stood near from within the burning bush at Mount Horeb and called, Moses, Moses. Moses replied, here I am. Moses shows his obedience by responding to God's call. He further illustrates this when God tells him to take off his sandals because he was standing on holy ground. When God mentioned that he was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Moses hid his face. He humbled himself before his new master. The master appointed him for a mission. God had heard the cries of the Israelites and seen the oppression of the Egyptians. He wanted Moses to bring the captive Israelites out of Egypt to a land flowing with milk and honey. Moses found this mission to be rather difficult. Who was he to appear before the Pharaoh? But God insisted and assured Moses he would be with him. He anointed Moses, and furthermore, God told Moses he would give him a sign. When Moses had finished his task, he would worship God at Mount Horeb. A calling is a divine intervention. Just as Jesus, the King of Kings, was humble to ride on a colt, so also are we colts carrying Jesus. The presence of Jesus makes us bold enough to appear before Pharaoh and do what God wants us to do. Our Constitution and Bylaws spells out the multitude of tasks being performed by our church workers, the priests. As shepherds of his flock, he strives for spiritual maturity. He is a leader, a teacher, a counselor, a preacher, a prophet. But being a pastor is also a calling. A high income is not his primary objective. Rather, it is to minister to his flock, the congregation, to bring people to Christ, to let them perceive and desire the free gift of salvation, God's promise of eternal life, and a place in heaven. Our scripture cites four believers of Christ and the qualities they possess for successful living. In 2 Chronicles 20, verses 20 to 21, Jehoshaphat tells the people of Judah and Jerusalem, have faith in the Lord your God, and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets, and you will be successful. In 2 Kings 20, verses 1 to 6, King Hezekiah 
had an illness and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah went to him and said, This is what the Lord says, Put your house in order, because you will die. You will not recover. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, O Lord, how I have walked before you faithfully and with wholehearted devotion and have done what is good in your eyes. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Before Isaiah had left the middle court, the word of the Lord came to him, Go back, tell Hezekiah, the leader of my people, This is what the Lord, the God of your father David, says. I have heard your prayer and see your tears. I will heal you. On the third day from now, you will go up to the temple of the Lord. I will add 15 years to your life, and I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will defend your servant for the sake I will defend the city for the sake of my servant David. In Genesis 39, verses 3 to 7, the Lord was with Joseph, and he prospered, and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did, Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of the household and of all that he owned. The Lord blessed the household of the Egyptians because of Joseph. The blessing of the Lord was on everything Potiphar had, both in the house and in the field. So he left everything in Joseph's care, everything he had with Joseph in charge. He did not concern himself with anything except the food he ate. And in Daniel 4, verses 36 to 37, At the time that my sanity was restored, my honor and splendor were returned to me for the glory of my kingdom. My advisors and nobles sought me out, and I was restored to my throne and became even greater than before. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, Praise and exalt and glorify the King of Heaven, because everything He does is right, and all and all His ways are just, and those who walk in pride He is able to humble. Josephus, Hezekiah, Joseph, and Nebuchadnezzar have the same trait: fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord as the quality of believers is contained in several verses. In the book of Proverbs, we read, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord adds length to life. He who fears the Lord has a secure fortress, and for his children it will be a refuge. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life, turning a man from the snares of death. 1 Peter 1, verses 3 to 4 reads, Praise be to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ in his great mercy. He has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you. Thus Ecclesiastes declares, Now, all has been heard. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. May we request uh, Mrs. Asosian Kayon to please come to the center. Please allow me to convey to you the Certificate of Appreciation. UCCP Butuan City Evangelical Church, 
United Church of Christ in the Philippines, 850 R. Carlos Street, Putuan City. Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Mrs. Asuncion C. Gayon for imparting her valuable insights and inspirations as speaker during the Church Workers' Sunday celebration. Given this 19th day of November 2023 at UCCP Butuan City Evangelical Church, 850 Arcaos in Butuan City, signed your strolly, Council Chairman Nelly Evelyn D. Batitang, Chairperson, Board of Christian Education. sa ulo, oh, kapitulo 4 versikulo Jesus nagaingon matag usa ka nato gihatagan sa Dios og gasa gamito nato kini alang sa kayuhan sa matag usa isip maayo nga sinaligan ni ining nagkalain-lain nga mga gasa uban sa mapasalamaton og manipayon na kasing-kasing atong dalhon ang atong mga gasa talento ug tipik sa atong kinitaan aron sa pagpadayag sa atong gugma ug pagdayeg sa atong Ginoo Is it not for heaven's gate? Nor to walk the mighty streets of gold. Want to hear the angels sing? Or it's just a dream from that mountain? Never was promised to me. 
Diyos ang mahal, among magbalantay o magsasangkap, isip pagpasalamat o pagdaig sa imong kaayo o mga panalangin ka namo, ani ang among gasa, talento, tipik sa among kinitaan, o ingon man ang among mga kinabuhi, dawata o gamita kini o Diyos, aron sa pagpalapad sa imong gingharian ni inyong kalibutan. Dagang salamat sa kanunayon ni mong pagsangkap ka namo, aron kami makapadayon sa pagpamuhat sa mga butang na imong gisangon ngayon ni kanamo. Gamahanan ikaw o dalaygon hangtod sa kahangturan. Kami nagampo pinaagi kang Heso Kristo among ginoo o manuluwas. Amen. Alas sa pagtapos sa atong pagsimba at kung awiton ang To the Word. Magamputa. O labing balaan o gamhanan nga Diyos, dako ang among kalipay. Sa imong pagpahinumdom ka namo, ingon nga imong tinawag alang sa buluhaton. O dili lamang ang mga naghatag sa full time nga pag alagad diha sa parasan, ang gitawag o church workers, kundi dili matag usa ka namo nga mitubag sa mong hagit nga maga sunod sa dalan nga giandam sa ginoo alang ngadto sa iyang gingharian 
ug nalipay kami nga ikaw nagapadala kanamo sa minsahero nga naga asoy Ginoo dili lamang sa iyang kasinatian kun dili sa kasinatian nga iyang na batunan pinaagi sa mga magbubuhat sa nagkalain-lain nga mga higayon o mga katiguman nga iyang natambungan salamat usab sa imong katauhan ni ini nga iglesia nga mibarug aron ang imong mga magbubuhat makabaton sa dugang kaisog dugang kusog o dugang kadasig nga magapadayon sa pagmantala sa imong gugma dili lamang ni adtong tako si gugmaon bisan apan bisan pa ngadto sa mga nangawala hiusaha kami o among Dios ni ini nga gibuhaton aron sa imong pagbalik imo kaming hikaplagan nga hingpit ug matarong kini may among pagampo sa ngalan sa among Ginoo sa Kristo ug ang panalangin ang grasya o gugma gikan sa langit nung amahan. Ang kalingkawasan o kalinaw nga gikan sa iyang bugtong anak. Ang paggahom, pagdumala, pagsangka, paglipay o pagkupay. Atong mabatunan gikan sa balaang espirito. Karun o hangtod sa walay hangturan. Amen.